Good morning and welcome to worship today. Today begins the holy days of the Christian year. This holy week begins now with the processional of palms and it will end on Easter evening. The church is in continuous worship all week long and our worship is filled with drama. The various services are designed as one long service with many parts. Not all elements of worship will be in each day's service, such as confession and forgiveness, a sermon and communion. Some elements of worship only occur during these days as we process with the cross. During the week, we take time to go home, to eat, to sleep, to work, to sign on Zoom, and then we continue our work and our worship each day. So welcome to this holy week. Christ emptied himself in divine power and protection, willingly became vulnerable to those who struck him and put him to death. With Christ, we lament his suffering and all human suffering, but we expect God's final vindication. Would you please stand and raise your palms? The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you, O God, for the great acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. On this day, he entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph and was acclaimed son of David and king of kings by those who scattered their garments and branches of palm in his path. We ask that you bless these branches and those who bear them and grant that we may ever hail him as our Lord and King and follow him with perfect confidence through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God, now and forever. Amen. I invite you in worship as to every time you hear the word Hosanna to raise your palm and shake it. Blessed be the Holy One who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you. Triumphant, Triumphant and victorious is he. Humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the, the foal of a donkey. donkey. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. pray together. Everlasting God, in your endless love for the human race, you sent our Lord Jesus Christ to take on our nature and to suffer death on the cross. In your mercy, enable us to share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. It's a joy to hear people back there praying with us as we pray this way. So thank you all for being here this day. A couple of quick announcements. Um, so Monday, Thursday will be... Thursday and Good Friday will be Friday. Worship will be both days at seven o'clock. If you've never attended Monday, Thursday and Good Friday in person, you will want to be here. It's a very emotional and a very um, life-centering services. Um, we've done a lot of extra things this year. Um, you'll want to be there. Because it, it really will, I think it really will impact your life. Um, I was sharing with Matt, if you remember a couple of years ago, we left the church on Good Friday and did our festivities outside and it poured down rain. And we all stood there and sang, were you there when they crucified my Lord? And as we stood there and it was pouring down rain. Those are some of the things, some memories that I have from, from those services. But you will want to be here. And then, of course, we will have service next on Easter morning at both 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. So um, we come together to, um, to praise and worship the risen Christ. So those are all the announcements. We do have worship tonight at 6.30. Um, we hear from the point of view from the palms. So thank you for being here. Continue to worship this day. A reading from Isaiah. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. 
Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. A reading from Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of God for the people of God.
The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 19th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. After he had said this, Jesus went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethage and Bethany at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Just say this, the Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as he had told them. And they were untying the colt. Its owners asked him, why are you untying the colt? And they said, the Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus. And after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they sat Jesus on it. And Jesus rode along. People kept spreading their cloaks on the road as he was now approaching the path down the Mount of Olives. The whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. And he answered, I tell you, if they were silent, these stones would shout out. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I invite you to be seated and I invite students, I invite you to grab your palms. How many of you have been to a birthday party and you got one of those paper things that you put in your mouth and you blow it and it unfolds, right? Sometimes they make noises. I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but they didn't have those when Jesus went to birthday parties. They just didn't have them. They didn't have a cell phone to call anybody and tell them to pick up an extra pack. So literally what they had were palms. So as they celebrated anything, there were always palms on the side of the road. But what was very unusual about Jesus' entrance into this was that people started taking off their outer robes, their cloaks, and also laying them down. I see that none of you have done that today, and I'm delighted to see that. But students, what I want to tell you is what happened in this entrance was that every time they said Hosanna, people would shake their palm branches. So Hosanna, okay, next cue, Hosanna, everybody would shake their palm branches and they would lay these down. Because if you remember, we're getting close to Monday, Thursday, and on Monday, Thursday, Jesus washed the feet of the disciples. They laid these branches down. They laid their cloaks down to keep Jesus' feet clean and prepared as he was entering this town and into this city. He had to go around the edge of the city to come in. He couldn't just go straight down Main Street. He had to go around the edge to be able to come into a side door. And they were all waiting, waiting for him to come in on this little donkey. So students, this day, remember these palm branches is another way of you just kind of shouting out for Jesus this day. A day for you to kind of blow your little whistle for Jesus. So keep your palm branches handy during worship. And when you hear those words, Hosanna, shake those. Let us pray. Gracious God, Hosanna, you come in the name of the Lord. Remind us of your presence and your, and your blessedness on this day. We thank you that you love us, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Would you pray with me the prayer preparation? Holy God, you have a word for me today. Make my heart soft and plant your word in me in order that it may bear fruit in your kingdom. Amen. 
So yeah, we kind of just set the, set the scene of what it was like for Jesus to come into this, into this town. And people are shaking their palm branches and laying some of their cloaks and their garments in the, in the pathway to make way for Jesus to come into the Passover. See, Jewish, Jesus was a Jew, and Passover starts today, last night, and Jesus is on his way to the family reunion. As he enters this town, people are there waiting for Jesus and everyone else to come into the town for Passover today. And they're all happy. All of you are smiling. I can see it beneath your eyes. Everybody's happy today. It's Palm Sunday and we shake our branches and we, and we sing praises to God. But you know, those disciples who went to get the colt, they were not always on Jesus' side. Amen? Do you remember Peter when Jesus said, get behind me, Satan? When he said to them, following me is going to be hard. It's going to be hard to follow me. There's going to, there's going to be times you want to go out with your friends and you need to go to church. There, it's going to be hard. But today, they've put all that behind them. They've put all of those times where Jesus called them out. They put all those sad times and those times with them not quite feeling like they were good enough. They have put all that behind and today they're all happy and they're welcoming Jesus into the town. Confirmands, you might completely relate to that. You know the days that you had to come to confirmation class? And you really didn't want to. Remember those days? Remember those days when you had to come and we studied and studied and studied and studied. And then we studied some more, didn't we? We studied a lot. Remember those days when you had Boy Scout camp the week before? The days before? And you came to, came to confirmation anyway and you were really tired? Remember those days? All of those things happen. But we put all of that behind us today because no longer are you called confirmation students. Parents, no longer do you have to worry what time confirmation class is for this student. You never, no longer have to worry about when that day is or what time the class is. Because in the church roles, we have already removed you from the baptized ledger unto the confirmed active members of the church. We put all those, all that studying and all those crayons behind us this day. In case you don't know, parents, the best thing in the world for you to highlight your Bible with is tell them, students, a crayon. They don't bleed through the pages. And I hope that their Bibles are very colorful by now because we highlight it a lot in our Bibles. But I also want you to know that Becoming a member of a body of Christ that serves God means you continue to serve God. We continue to serve together. Food pantry, grace works. What about the days in Lutheridge when we slid down that rock waterfall? And what about the day you went head first? Oh, sorry, parents. You went head first down that slippery slope to the edge of the pond. That was pretty fun, huh? We continue to serve together and to be the church together. Because it's kind of like today. Everybody's happy and all your family's here and you got all this support. But then there will be Monday, Thursday. There will be a day when Jesus says, you are to love one another like I love you. Sometimes that's hard. And then some days there will be times in your life that are like Good Friday when you experience death. And you wonder what's next. So your, your walk through Christ, with Christ through this world has plenty of ups and downs. Plenty of days that 
palm branches are shaking and plenty of days when, when we're excited, but there's also times when we are sad together as a community, that we get support from one another. There are days when, when you praise God, there are days when you lament to God and you beg him to, to let this cup pass. But this day, it's a happy day. It's a day that you are all confirmed. You seven boys get confirmed this day. And you become part of this active, God-fearing, God-loving community that worships here together. So I say to all seven of you, welcome to Big Boy Church. Welcome to the time when you are active and welcome to the time when you're no longer confirmands, but you are children of God who call this place home and you are adults in this community. So you'll hear a little more about what students have to say to you in a little while. But for right now, we're gonna sing a hymn. It's only a couple of verses. So students, bring your, um, bring your bulletins. And on the count of three, get marked, get set, go. Come on up. As part of confirmation, these students make a faith statement, and they write for me what they believe. I want you to hear what these seven boys have written. And I also want to bring to your attention, some of you may not have met Matt Hansen. Matt is our seminary student. He has been studying with your children, too. And so has Susan Busby. Susan joined the church last year in December. And she has been studying Lutheranism with your students, too. So she's going to take part in this service today. Hear what they have to say to you. Today is a special day because I am affirming my baptism. I believe we should get to know Jesus by reading our Bible every day so we can learn how to live life according to the Bible. I believe in an all-powerful God. Jesus was a spotless lamb, 
being conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. I believe God expects me to do my best, no matter what challenges I face. I believe God has provided me with special gifts and talents. I believe Jesus is with us every day and listens to our prayers. I believe we are to live our lives helping others and loving others. We have a choice to recognize, admit, and confess our sins to our Lord. We should confess our sins and ask for forgiveness. Some other statements that they wrote. Jesus did many miracles while on earth, like making a blind man see. I believe Jesus turned water into wine. I believe Jesus took five loaves of bread and two fish and fed 5,000 people. I believe Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. I believe Jesus was fully human. Jesus lived a sinless life. I believe Jesus died and he rose again. I believe he died so I could go to heaven. I believe after three days, Jesus returned to the living. I believe that Jesus will return boldly and visibly. I believe that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe there is eternal life through Jesus. Jesus loves us and we need to tell others. I am thankful that my family, friends, and my church family have been on this journey with me. That's some pretty powerful statements from these seven young men. So dear friends, we give thanks for the gift of baptism and we give thanks for Tanner Reed Addy, for Connor Wayne Ergel, for Alexander Henry Greer, Parker Christopher Greer, Lawson McCollum Morris, William Jacob Dugan, and Joshua Harper Kuhn. We are one who are one with us in the body of Christ, who are making public affirmation of their baptism. We pray. Merciful God, we thank you for these brothers whom you have made your own by water and the word in baptism. You have called them to yourself. Enlighten them with the gifts of your spirit and nourish them in the communion of faith. Uphold your servants in the gift and promises of baptism and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. So, compromise, I ask you, do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? If so, answer, I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. People of God, you have assisted in the nourishment of this faith and these students. I ask you to join them as we state our faith. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe, I believe in, in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, Son of God? I, I believe, believe in Jesus Christ, Christ God's, God's only Son, Son our Lord, Lord who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, died, died and was buried. He descended, he descended to, the to the dead. dead. And on the, on the third day, day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God and the Holy Spirit? I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Guys. You have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people? 
to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people, following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. One by one, would you say, I do, and I ask God to help and guide me? Connor. Would you raise your hands toward these guys? We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you gave us new birth. Cleanse us from sin and raise us up to eternal life. Stir up in Tanner Reed Addy, Connor Wayne Ergel, Alexander Henry Greer, Parker Christopher Greer, Lawson McCollum Morris, and William Jacob Dugan, and Joshua Harper Kuhn. Would you give them the gift of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. I ask all of you to just kind of move to the side. And as I call your name, I ask that you go back and receive your candle from Miss Susan. Tanner Reed Addy. William Jacob Dugan. Connor Wayne Ergel. Alexander Henry Greer. Alex. Cut through there. Parker Christopher Greer. Joshua Harper Coon. and Lawson McCollum Morris. Let us rejoice with these brothers in Christ. We rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God. We will proclaim the good news to all the world. Amen. It's appropriate to give God a round of applause for these young men. So students, welcome to this community of disciples who call this place home. You can blow your candles out because I don't want it to burn you. Um, but this candle replaces your baptismal candle that you were given. It simply says confirmation on there. And against the back here are some bags from me. And in front here are some gifts from the, um, from the teach team. Okay? All right. All right. Thank you, guys. You may go back to your seats. Thanks. Congratulations. Yes, indeed. You may go back to your seats. Got it. You can let your candle burn as long as you want to. <laughs>
We give thanks for these gifts and we pray together. God of glory, receive these gifts as the offering of our lives. As Jesus was lifted up from the earth, draw us to your heart in the midst of the world that all creation may be brought from bondage to freedom, from darkness to light, and from death to life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. You are the king of Israel and David's royal son. Now in the Lord's name coming, our king and blessed one, the company of angels are praising you on high. Creation and all mortals, in chorus we reply. The multitude of pilgrims with palms before you went, our praise and prayer and anthems, before you we present all glory, laud, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. To you, before your passion, they sang their hymns of praise. To you, now high exalted, our melody we raise. <laughs> so it was in the night in which he was betrayed our lord jesus took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it and he gave it to his disciples and said take and eat this is my body given for you do this for the remembrance of me and again after supper he took a cup and he gave thanks and he gave it for all to drink saying this cup is a new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin do this for the remembrance of me. So with this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life, and we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us and these gifts of bread and wine. Bless this feast. Grace our table with your presence. Come, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread and raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us and then send us forth, burning with justice, peace, and love. Come, Holy Spirit, all praise and glory are yours, Holy One of Israel, Word of God incarnate, power of the Most High, one God, now and forever. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>
So come to Jesus, our host and our meal. Now receive this blessing. You are what God made you to be. Created in Christ Jesus for good works. Chosen as holy and beloved. Freed to serve your neighbor. So now may God bless you, that you may be a blessing in the name of the holy and life-giving Trinity. Amen. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You may be seated. Could he be the promised one? Could he be? 